Thousands of immigrants living in Idaho hope to apply, receive, and then, of course, reap the benefits of the DREAM Act exemption. At least one of those hopeful citizens does cribbed it today as a life changer. Matt King is live in the studio with the story. We had Don Michelle with a Latino population in the United States has plateaued. It continues to grow here in Idaho. Right now, this DREAM Act exemption only puts off deportation, but supporters of the reform hope in those two years Congress can pass legalization, making this reprieve crucial for immigrants who've grown to love this country and hope to stay here. I'm from Mexico, but this is my home. Twelve years ago, Gallo Albor left a tiny town in central Mexico and with nine of his siblings crossed the border into the United States. People ask you and say, hey, how is your life have a change? Changed dramatically for me. Albor grew up dirt poor on dirt streets, kicking around anything neighborhood kids could fashion into a soccer ball. Going to school, getting beat up sometimes for no reason. He says he left that school, his parents, and his country to pursue a better life, a reverie our country forced him to earn beginning on his very first day in Idaho. It was 5 in the morning when they, they told me that, okay, let's go work. 100 degrees, sun, getting paid $7 an hour. Albor worked in the Gem State's fields during the summer and made nothing less than honor roll in its schools for the rest of the year. Four-year colleges rejected him due to his immigrant status. So he went to community college, graduated, and now studies business and economics at Boise State pursuing a Ph.D. in urban economics and still worrying about his new country deporting him. But thanks to President Obama, Al Bohr, and more than 5,000 other immigrants living in Idaho expect to receive a special two-year exemption. It's our first victory, major victory in the last 10 years. The policy's critics might call applicants freeloaders. Saying, hey, send them back. And Al Bohr recognizes the taxes of American citizens paid for his schooling. But he says that investment's not wasted. Let's give those, those dividends back. They, they don't look it that way. And that's how I look it, is with, with my education. I want to help the, the community to, to be a better place to live. Diversity breeds competition, breeds prosperity, says Al Bohr. The same prosperity he left Mexico to build, nurture, and now spread. Would you call yourself an American then? Yes, of course. Everybody's American. Depends. Depends on, on, on the love you have for the land you, you are in. The luster of the American dreams bruised badly in the last five years. Native-born, multi-generational Americans struggle just to attain the same prosperity as their parents. But here in a town hall in Nampa, Idaho, we find traces of the legend erected by the Mayflower and Ellis Island. Whispers of evidence the dreams faded, but still lives in one man's journey from a dirty Mexican town, kept alive in Idaho's dairies and cornfields, and finally realized. For me, yes, I'm dreaming. Albor admits he's accomplished a lot already, but he's adamant about giving back. He hopes to earn that PhD in urban economics and help build Idaho smarter infrastructure. I'm the city of Matt King, Fox 9, on your side. Major.